Yeah, this is a very exciting project I worked on um, related to the development of design guidelines for patients, uh, for the, uh, an ideal home for patients with Parkinson's disease, uh, trying to uh, give uh, some advice to build a house and a home that uh, really um, it is able to follow the needs, the physical and emotional and uh, psychological needs of patients with Parkinson's disease uh, with the, the possibility of uh, customize the uh, different rooms and spaces and uh, to follow the advancement of disability also of the patient to make the, what is called the disability uh, no more a disability because we know now that disability is not a really a, a function of the level of pathologies uh, of, uh, or, or impairments, but rather is related to the extent to which uh, uh, an environment is accommodating or not accommodating that potential disability. Yeah, the project uh, is made according to a human-centered design approach that uh, puts the, the patients, at the, 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 the people, in this case the people with Parkinson's disease, at the center of the development. So I uh, help the uh, designers uh, to uh, develop these guidelines, interviewing uh, in a systematic way the the patients for their needs and uh, at the end uh, there was a development of uh, uh, guidelines of different types of uh, pos different possibilities to build a home uh, it is uh, dependent uh, on the uh, places on the dimension of the of the home of the house and that can uh, follow really follow the the evolution of symptoms and the house with the non-intrusive uh, modifications is able during the years uh, to adapt to the patient's needs and also to the caregiver's needs some of these modifications are for example the, by the use of sliding doors or mobile walls you can adapt the spaces and the, the dimension of the entering in the rooms you can uh, put uh, um, handholds on the walls to help the patient with difficulties of balance and uh, also you have uh, some advice for uh, any kind of, uh, of activity in the, in the house of the patients with the domotics but also with uh, some uh, uh, design solutions that are already on the market and then they can help uh, like uh, the beds that can uh, electric that can help uh, the patient to okay, come out of the bed uh, or uh, other solution in the kitchen for example uh, like the, the height of the the uh, of the kitchen and um, anything that can be at the measure also of a patient using for example a wheelchair and not only walking these are uh, guidelines based on the literature data and on this new approach uh, with a systematic assessment of the patient's needs, starting from the problems in their houses, in their home, and uh, uh, so to develop these guidelines. Obviously, the, the next step would be an implementation in the real life, uh, hoping that this can be helpful for patients and, uh, and uh, for their caregivers and families.